They've been around for a very, very long time, since the time of the dinosaurs. Lake sturgeon know a thing or two about survival because they've seen a thing or two over their 150 million year existence. Right now, the prehistoric fish seems to be making a comeback on the Grand River. For the past several years, researchers at the Public Museum have surveyed their population. And while they can grow up to seven feet long as an adult, the museum is looking for the little ones. Beneath the cover of darkness, the search begins. When someone sees a sturgeon, they call out sturgeon. No rods, no reels. Telling our driver where to go, which direction. Here's our lake sturgeon on the Grand River. This little guy in a net is what it's all about. We really don't know a lot about the Grand River population. We're excited to find a couple of fish, but until we get that genetic analysis back and we get a couple years of data, we won't really be able to make any statements that say it's a good population, it's a healthy population. Back at the museum, Dr. Stephanie Ogren readies a tank for two new sturgeon brought down to Grand Rapids from a fish hatchery up north. It's a great opportunity to share lake sturgeon, lake sturgeon history with the public. The more she and her team can learn about these fish, why the Grand River still seems to support them, the better. Really understanding the Grand River population, but all the other populations throughout the Great Lakes is really important. They can tell us a lot about the health of an ecosystem. In Grand Rapids, Sam Lanstra, Fox 17 News.